I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Nothing. Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. Now I'm sure in your experiences in school and applying to college and picking your major and deciding what you want to do with life, I'm sure people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on. Make sure you got something to fall back on, honey. But I never understood that concept, having something to fall back on. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything except my faith. I want to fall forward. I figure at least this way I'll see what I'm going to hit. Fall forward. This is what I mean. Reggie Jackson struck out 2,600 times in his career, the most in the history of baseball. But you don't hear about the strikeouts. People remember the home runs. Fall forward. Thomas Edison conducted 1,000 failed experiments. Did you know that? I didn't know that because the 1,001st was the light bulb. Fall forward. You will fail at some point in your life, accept it. You will lose. You will embarrass yourself. You will suck at something. I'm telling you, embrace it because it's inevitable. And I should know. But here's the thing, I didn't quit. I didn't fall back. I walked out of there to prepare for the next audition and the next audition and the next audition. I prayed. I prayed and I prayed. But I continued to fail and fail. You'll see everything I'm talking about today. You'll see what I mean about taking risk or being willing to fail. Because taking risk is not just about going for a job. It's also about knowing what you know and what you don't know. It's about being open to people and to ideas. In the course of the film, the character I play begins to take small steps, small risks. He very, very, very slowly begins to overcome his fears. And I feel ultimately his heart becomes flooded with love. And I can't think of a better message as we send you off today. To not only take risks, but to be open to life, to accept new views, and to be open to new opinions. To be willing to speak at a commencement at one of the best country, best universities in the country, even though you're scared stiff. While it may be frightening, it will also be rewarding. Because the chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. When you leave the friendly confines of Philly, never be discouraged, never hold back, give everything you got, and when you fall throughout life, and remember this, fall forward. Say thank you in advance for what is already yours. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. I'll say it again, true desire in the heart, that itch that you have, whatever it is you want to do, that thing that you want to do to help others and to, to grow and to make money, that desire, that itch, that's God's proof to you, sent beforehand already to indicate that it's yours. And anything you want good, you can have. So claim it, work hard to get it. When you get it, reach back, pull someone else up. Each one, teach one. Don't just aspire to make a living. Aspire to make 
a difference.